Let me show the difference between my candles and my candles. Halfway to some of everything. I thought I'd show this because this is straight off the chain right here for this pub right here. You ain't got to amp them up. And it's not just this pub. I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of Rocket Cannon's True Game Dogs and me being out here and me working. Come here, come here. Me working for the last 20 something years and working on these bulldogs and you know what I mean? When I say it take time, patience, pride, and everything in these dogs and love and care and all this stuff right there. You see this dog right here? This is this is shit that we breeding. And when you go to other people, these big name people and all that crazy shit, you don't get your fucking money worth. You buy a dog that's cold, you buy a dog that's not even in, in that aspect of dogs, you just don't buy good dogs at all. You come out on the bottom side, you come out not winning. You know what I mean? But I just want to show you a good little clip of a working dog. Come here. Straight off the chain. You know what I mean? Want to work all the time. I'm talking about 24-7. Anytime you do it for them, I'm talking about from birth. You know what I mean? You want the dog... You want that dog to be active, especially when you're thinking about American Pit Bull Terrier. You see what I'm saying? You want that dog to be active. You want that dog to be everything that you want the dog to be. You see what I'm saying? So when people will be online and all that shit talking about, oh, backyard breeders and all that shit, man, you got to think about it. That's where everybody started at. You know what I mean? Before I got all these dogs out here and everything like that, yeah, my grandfather, Ray Pitbull, we had a kennel over 65 dogs. But at the end of the day, that wasn't my shit. That was my grandfather's shit. When my grandfather passed, like I said, most of these dogs got got away from us. You know what I mean? We don't know what the fuck happened to half of them and shit like that. Some of them we was able to keep it safe and things like that. But you know what I mean? But as far as anything else, I had to start somewhere. I had to grow up and get my own shit. You see what I'm saying? Do my own motherfucking thing. But this is this this right here is what is is what not not and, and I'm not I'm talking about per se of high drive dogs. You know what I mean? When you want to get your money worth. You going for a high drive dog. You see what I'm saying? Now, I got this little rope right here set up on the wall right here, and it's nonstop. You know what I mean? The focus nonstop. You know what I mean? When you got a dog that young, look at, look at intense. Still focus on it. Ready to go. You know what I mean? Ready to go. Still focus on it. Take him at a distance. He's still ready to go. Look at that. Get a boy. Look, he, he ready to go. Get a boy. Watch a boy. Watch a boy. Watch a boy. Get a boy. Look, look. Ready to go. You see what I'm saying? Ready to go. He he want the damn thing. He want to do it. You see what I'm saying? So before y'all guys be rooting for these big name candles and all that stuff, and at the end of the day, don't get your money worth. This is what we breeding in Rocket Country Game Dogs. And I mean it's all my pups. Everything that I breed. So yeah. This right here, Rocket Kennels, Luke Kane Jr. Off of the off of the great Rocket Kennel Luke Kane. And the Rocky Kennels Hypnota Breeder Nightwalker Project Nightwalker, that's what we call that. Got Tab Carver, Red Boy on the top side, and on the bottom side, he got some Tab Carver Chavo type shit there at the bottom. Nice blend. But yeah, right Kennels True Game, though. Luke Kane Jr. <laughs> Look, got that hold on that side. Got that mouth open on that side. We catch a good wind, baby. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Racket comes.